Hi, this is Manos Berlakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 23 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of a retrograde crossing in which the retrograde microcatheter failed to follow the retrograde guide wire after crossing of the collateral. The patient had an LAD CTO. The occlusion was at the takeoff of a large diagonal branch. The distal vessel was filling via septal collaterals and there was a bifurcation at the distal cap with another diagonal originating at the distal cap. And the length was about 30 to 40 millimeters. The initial plan was to perform a brief undergrade attempt followed by retrograde crossing if the undergrade attempt failed. We did not want to do undergrade dissection reentry because of the bifurcation on the distal cap in an attempt to maintain patency of both branches of the distal bifurcation. We advanced a safety wire into the diagonal branch and then performed undergrade wire escalation with various wires, including a Confianza Pro 12. However, the wire did not follow into the LAD, is going probably subintimal into the diagonal branch. That is why we decided to try retrograde crossing. We inserted a Corsair microcatheter to the PDA, and then we were able with the Fielder FC guide wire to advance all the way back to the mid LAD as shown by the injection of the right coronary artery. However, we then had the challenge that the retrograde Corsair would not advance past the distal part of the collateral. And this is a not uncommon scenario. And there are essentially two major solutions. One is to find ways to deliver the microcatheter. And the second is find other options if delivery of the microcatheter fails. To deliver the microcatheter, one option is to try rapid rotation on either direction. Try to increase guide catheter support, for example, with a guide catheter extension or with an anchor balloon. Dilate the collateral with a small balloon, usually 1.2 or 1.25 or 1.5 millimeter balloon. Sometimes there is microcatheter fatigue and trying a new microcatheter may succeed where a previous microcatheter has failed. Alternative using a short 135 centimeter microcatheter might be beneficial with more torque transmission as compared to the longer 150 centimeter microcatheters. Trying a different microcatheter is another option. We now have several options including the Caravel, the Corsair, the Turnpike, Turnpike LP, the Micro 14, the Fine Cross. There are many options that one can use and sometimes one microcatheter may succeed where another fails. If uh, there is undergrade wire in the subintimal space overlapping the retrograde wire, one can do anchoring of the retrograde guide wire to advance the retrograde microcatheter. Or alternatively, if the microcatheter is fairly close to the main vessel, one could remove the initial guide wire and exchange for a stiffer wire such as a Pilot 200 that can provide more support. If all of this fails and microcatheter cannot be delivered, another option is to try to cross from retrograde to undergrade using the wire that crossed the collateral. The other option is to use the retrograde wire as a marker for undergrade crossing. And the third is to use another collateral that may be more favorable for delivering the microcatheter. In this particular case, we tried to deliver the microcatheter, but we were unable to. And eventually, we attempted retrograde crossing, and to our pleasant surprise, we were able to advance the retrograde wire all the way into the proximal true lumen and into the aorta. We confirmed that the reentry had happened proximal because we want to minimize the risk of uh, dissecting or injuring the left main during the retrograde crossing attempts. The intravascular ultrasound did confirm that the wire had entered into the true lumen within the proximal LAD. We were then able to externalize the wire and uh, deliver a stent, restoring undergrade timothy flow into the LAD and the diagonal branch, while maintaining patency of the diagonal branch at the proximal cap. So in summary, this scenario of the microcatheter failing to follow the guide wire through a collateral is fairly common and can be challenging to treat.
However, having a systematic approach, including ways to deliver the microcatheter or attempt retrograde crossing with the initial wire, using it as a marker for undergrade crossing or trying a different collateral, can help achieve success in this situation. Thank you.